हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू क्रिकेट अड्डा एंड वी आर बैक दिस टाइम टू प्रिव्यू द ओ डी आई सीरीज बिटवीन इंडिया एंड ऑस्ट्रेलिया नाउ दैट द रेड बॉल क्रिकेट इज ओवर ऑल द फोकस शिफ्ट ऑन द वाइट बॉल फॉर्मेट्स बिकॉज फ्रॉम हियर इट्स ओनली वाइट बॉल क्रिकेट फॉर इंडिया टिल जुलाई इफ इंडिया रीच द फाइनल ऑफ द वर्ल्ड कप नाउ एवरी सीरीज फ्रॉम हियर ऑनवर्ड्स बिल्ड्स अप टू द मैस रिव्यू टूर्नामेंट इन इंग्लैंड विच इज़ गोइंग टू बी हेल्ड इन मे एंड जुलाई बट नाउ द फोकस विल बी ऑन दिस थ्री मैच ओ डी आई सीरीज बिटवीन इंडिया एंड ऑस्ट्रेलिया सम ऑफ द ओ डी आई स्पेशलिस्ट लाइक एम एस धोनी शिखर धवन विल बी बैक फॉर द ओ डी आईज ऑस्ट्रेलिया हैव अ न्यू स्कॉड विल डिस्कस अबाउट द स्कॉड इन अ फ्यू सेकेंड्स हे वी गो इंडिया स्कॉड ऑन योर स्क्रीन राइट नाउ विराट कोहली द कैप्टन दैन रोहित शर्मा द वाइस कैप्टन शिखर धवन अंबाती रायडू द टू विकेट कीपर्स एम एस धोनी एंड दिनेश कार्तिक के एल राहुल देन कम्स द थ्री ऑलराउंडर्स केदार जाधव हार्दिक पांड्या रविंद्र जडेजा देन द स्पिन डिओ ऑफ कुलदीप यादव एंड युजवेंद्र चहल देन द फोर फास्ट बॉलर्स जस भुवनेश्वर कुमार मोहम्मद सिराज खलील अहमद एंड मोहम्मद शमी या सो बिफोर टर्निंग टू द ऑस्ट्रेलियन स्कॉट वी हैव अ फ्यू इम्पॉर्टंट पॉइंट्स हियर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल नो रिशभ पंत नो मनीष पांडे युअर टेक ऑन दैट रिशभ पंत इज सेट टू बी रेस्टेड इज गोइंग टू प्ले फॉर इंडिया ए अगेंस्ट इंग्लैंड लाइन्स मनीष पांडे ड्रॉप्ड डू यू सी दिस as the 15 which will go to england is manish pande in that plans or manish pande has lost his place yes uh, obviously manish pande is there in the plans but they are just looking for some alternatives yeah maybe dinesh karthik yes because they need to look at the alternative uh, alternatives because world cup is a big event and yeah. sometimes injury might come so they are just looking for those alternatives same is the case for rishabh pant because rishabh pant is an aggressive batsman yeah. as we know so he definitely earns a place in the uh, squad at least for the squad yeah so but uh, as we have seen his recent form is not so great so they are just looking for dinesh karthik in case yeah in case they need another hmm. wicket keeper batsman definitely another point now mohammad shami is making a comeback he wasn't uh, in the 15 for the west uh, he was in the 15 for the west indies series initially then was dropped for the last two odis so mohammad shami a senior bowler making a comeback that tells that india are definitely preparing for the world cup they need yes. some experienced bowlers bhuvi and bumra both can do every time yes and yeah, definitely sometimes uh, as we have seen that bhuneshwar and bumrah both have got both have got injured in the past so in case if if he if he gets injured before the world cup or in the world cup so they need backups and you can't def- uh, and you can't definitely look in the backup uh, at the backups directly in the world cup yeah. so they are uh, uh, well trying to prepare for the world cup only yeah definitely mohammad shami giving uh, given a go here but jaspreet bumrah rested a well deserved rest for jaspreet bumrah as well because he was phenomenal in the yes. test series for india mohammad siraj is his uh, replacement you can say jaspreet bumrah was in the squad initially but they later on named a replacement mohammad siraj is a good quick fast bowler so now let's have a look at the probable playing 11 for india which we have set here obviously there is no doubt that rohit sharma and shikhar dhawan will open virat kohli at 3 ambati raidu at 4 i don't think any doubts there no there there is definitely no doubts because all these players on their place ambati raidu has been really uh, phenomenal at that position for yeah, india yeah so ambati in raidu at number 4 I guess M S Dhoni has to bat up the order and has to bat at number five. Then you come at number six and you need that all rounder Kedar Jadhav who can bowl those five six if required seven yes. eight overs for his team. Number seven Hardik Pandya. Till here it's all done. Now the main question comes in at number eight. Do you need a more uh, equipped batsman than Bhuvneshwar Kumar or you are going in with Yuzvendra Chahal? So is Ravindra Jadeja an option? or it is going to be yuzvendra chahal it will be really a nice toss between ravindra jadeja and yuzvendra chahal yeah. because if the uh, pitch as is some spin then jadeja might come in place because yeah. uh, he because his balls will spin where the ball where the uh, pitch, pitch turns will, yeah, where definitely. the pitch turns but if the pitch is flat obviously chahal, chahal has the upper hand considering that he is a wrist spinner that will be a toss up we are not quite sure about that maybe chahal considering that kohli likes to go with yes. two wrist spinners bhuvi Uh, and kuldi pick themselves and then uh, instead of bumrah we are going in with uh, khalil ahmed the left arm pacer so that's a good probable playing 11 for india which might start at sydney on 12th of january now quickly let's have a look at the australian squad obviously aaron finch will captain usman khwaja sean marsh peter handscomb glen maxwell marcus stoinis michel marsh few all rounders jai richardson a new quick bowler Alex Carey will be the wicket keeper obviously Tim Payne was dropped quite a few months ago from the one day and T20 squad Billy Stanley Jason Berendorf two quick good new young bowlers Peter Siddle Nathan Lyon and Adam Zampa 
some wholesale changes once again in the Australian ODI squad. We have somebody like a Peter Siddle making a comeback after 5-6 years. I'm not sure the uh, duration but it's quite a long time for Peter Siddle. Same is with Nathan Lyon and obviously they have rested Mitchell Stark, Josh Hazelwood and Pat Cummins considering that they have a test series with Sri Lanka. Your thoughts on that? Yes, they have definitely done the right thing because they have played continuously four test matches and uh, even in the test matches India batted really long. Yeah. So they needed that break. They, yeah. are, they are also looking for the World Cup. They are looking for the reserve players. Yeah, they They're, have brought in some senior members once again. Usman Khwaja back in the one day squad. Sean Marsh has played really well for uh, the Australian ODI team. Not so with the test team. Peter Henscombe uh, is blown hot and cold so it would be interesting to see and obviously Maxwell and Marcus Stoin is the two power hard hitters few uh, exclusions once again as I said no Darcy shot no Chris Lane was it the right decision is it the right decision yes it is definitely the right decision because in some past matches we have seen Chris Lane has not has not delivered which he has to deliver because he is considered as the senior pro player in the team considered he has got really good hitting skills but he has not delivered so yes, it but is. I still think Chris Lynch should have been in the score considering that he is an X-Factor player. Yes, he is an X-Factor player but as we have seen, the, all the teams are currently looking forward for the World Cup. Yeah. So they are looking for some options if Lynch has, uh, has blown that hot and cold, if someone can replace him. If, yeah. So that if it's yeah, really so important. in place of Chris Lynch, they might try in as Peter Hands come. So it would be interesting to see how this all goes. Australia not one of the best ODI sides considering once again Steve Smith and David Warner won't be there so just before we end this segment series prediction for the uh, india australia series is going to be 2-1 i will be surprised if india lose the series yes. so 2-1 maybe 3-0 if india have a really good series but it would be surprising if india lose hmm. the series considering that india have a really good odi team that's it from cricket Adda. it's the odi series preview we might be back after this uh, odi series as well we will be previewing the ODI, uh, India New Zealand series and the come, upcoming ODI NT20 series uh, which consists of India. Thank you very much for watching this. It's uh, a wrap from Cricket Adda. Please yes. like, share, subscribe. Thank you.